Hey everybody, it's Yusef for Dad's Free Time Let's Plays, Getting It In, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. It's, uh, it's that game. It is a game that apparently passed through the hands of a bunch of developers and had way too much money. It took way too much money to get this game off the ground. And, I mean, the game kind of, kind of shows it. I mean, you can see where the money was spent on the game for sure because it is it is huge i mean the play the thing is called really big games the company that made it and it's a really big game like no doubt um but unfortunately it still like has the same amount of charm as like fable or something like that better battling system for sure but uh yeah it was like there's no need for it to be really big like oh we're gonna make it really big and then they're gonna put like lots of space in there so i'm gonna get around all that by not showing you most of the travel and then just showing you all the discussion and stuff and it should be better for it anyway apparently i had a hard time dealing with the startup for this so i'll let regular yusef tell you all that okay then enjoy Yo guys, this is uh Yusef. Um you already talked to my dude, but uh, the uh the one who's editing, editor Yusef, but uh this is Yusef from the actual game and I got to say, man, it took so damn long to start this game. So so I'm playing it on play, PlayStation 3, right? So I turn on the PlayStation 3, I have an update. So then I use the update I, 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 this is like, I'm, I'm multitasking. I got like earphones on underneath the earphones that I have on to, for the game. Turn the sound down. So I had to update the, the PlayStation 3. And then after that, I had to update the, um, turn on the game. And then the game says that the game has an update, so then I have to download that update. And then, then after I downloaded that update, then the game, the game wanted to install itself on my PlayStation 3, so now I had to install that on my PlayStation 3. And then, then uh, when I did, when I went on, I pushed start, and then it's asking me all these things for EA. So it's got to download the stuff, the information from the EA server. It's got to register. Like, like, it legit took me, like, uh, almost an hour to start the damn game. Oh, man, I'm so old. I remember when you just fucking put the games in the, the thing and then play them. Now, now if I put them in and then walk away, it's like... Ugh, whatever. Anyway, um, I've already played this game before. Uh, they have a re-reckoning uh out and uh i watched i watched the video with the comparison and the comparison was bad it wasn't uh it was just like some extra some extra um whatchamacallit skins or whatever they call them textures they didn't do anything to change the game it was quite insulting 
I'm really sick and tired. The, the reason I keep all my systems, I don't sell any of the other ones, sell any of them, is num number one, because games are mad cheap. Number two, because uh, all they do is keep re-releasing games and have you buy the same crap over and over again. They come up with a new system, and then they won't let you play any of the old games. They always say, oh, we might make it backwards compatible, but do they make it backwards compatible? They do not. So, and I don't like this whole idea of not being able to play a game because it's licensed or whatever. So, I just, I just hold on to my games. And this one, I just happened to buy another one for my PlayStation 3. Um, I had it on Xbox and I already played it. But I didn't want to erase my character or whatever. So, whatever. I, I can tell you all this. This game's not, not short. It's a, it's a long ass game, so... Um, let's see. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable Fae Folk. <laughs> but Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadblow and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadblow's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two Arthur fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years, the war raged. For ten years, the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. you think this one is then? Alpha? Goran? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Goran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Alright, um... Last time I played, last time I played, I played like a, a elf or whatever because real talk, they just didn't have black people. <laughs> They're just like you, you, you have a white guy, a white guy, like a white guy with black hair, white guy with blonde hair, a 
elf with blonde hair and an elf with black hair. So you're just like, okay. Kind of weirds me out because the person who made these is uh, Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane was the one who really kind of did this. So it was like, dude, Todd McFarlane, aren't you the one that made Spawn? The, when the protagonist is black, but you don't really know it because his fucking face is melted off, which is, you know, some okie doke in itself. But whatever. Then, then they, they, uh, they had his best friend Terry marry marry his his old wife Wanda, and then when they had the movie, Terry was this like goofy looking white dude, <laughs> and you were like, "There's no way in hell." Wanda's like, "Oh well, you know, let me just get with this white dude, Terry." No, no, no. I'm not saying that she couldn't get with the white dude. It's just her her husband was like CIA killer. And uh, Terry was, uh, you know, at least in the the uh, comic book, Terry looked like he could do some shit. Dude in the movie, he looked he looked like he you could one punch knock him out, you know. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. All right. So I came up with the name Luana. Well, I didn't come up with it. I just looked up German German uh, warrior names, and that was the only one that didn't sound like some big thuggish white woman. <laughs> Luana. It's uh, it's probably a name that that yeah, I would have named my my child Luana. Luana Crow. That would be cool. That would be a nice name. I'll never have a kid again. I'm fixed, so I guess Luana will be the name that I choose for all the women they ask me. Anyway, let me find a way out for no reason. I inverted the uh, thing. Right? Am I doing that right? It's not inverted. There we go. this secrecy uh, experimental disposal secrecy is still important in our work requiring specialized disposal of our unfortunate failures piling remains have become a concern in the lower caverns so an incinerator has been added to deal with the waste uh oh this should make disposal work slightly less horrible although you should avoid drinking water from downstream of, uh, of the ash dumps ugh Hardly a fitting rest for the poor things, but if it's any consolation, these weren't their original bodies in the first place. What does that even mean? Oh, I thought that was... Ugh. Is this inverted?
The camera's not inverted. If I push up, it goes down. Oh, that's the inverted part. If I push up, it goes down. If I push down, it goes up. If I go left, it just swings left. And if I go right, it swings right. That's not inverted. Sucks. No point in inverting the camera if it's going to be like that. But, okay. That's stupid. I get enough of these games telling me how to run my life, man. Ooh. All right, whatever. Oh, I have my oh, the disposable. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. Is there something over here I could check out? That was it. get some shoes first and then we'll fight fam oh it's pissing me off this fucking Kill you guys. Do I have a block button? There. What about a dodge? Do I have a dodge? Do I have a run fast? There's my dodge. That's cool. Okay. Stay away. I can't do it. I can't do it. It sucks so bad trying to find a um, comfortable thing. I don't... I like to invert the whole... <sighs> Why would they give you the invert camera on the controls if they're not going to let you do left and right? That's so stupid. I just can't get, get the feel for it if, if the... Who needs my help? You up there, please help me. Please. No, oh, okay. I know there's a filthy mortal. Uh. That's a pretty nice dodge.
Don't talk to me. Thank you. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I... Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You... You were dead. It worked. By the dome it worked. You're alive! Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls and somehow it worked. The Well restored your soul to your body and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh, no doubt. But we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now let's get going. Let me get this door. We can be on our way. Right this way. Hold on a second. Whatever. What happened to you? Hmm. Well, what? Let's say what. Give me some shoes in this chest, please. Thank you. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls. Imagine an end to hope. An end to death. Oh, I can run in the water. Okay. Yeesh. All right, come on, guys. Oops, I pushed the rock button. Get it? Uh, 
so there is a, a slight knockback from that um oh, let me get some more money there's a slight knockback from when I last minute pulled out that shield so that was interesting yeah I'll take the bow Okay. <laughs> Who desires my death? Hmm. Well. I will Oh, they saw us already. Okay. Go, go, go. are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size.
That's pretty cool. A mistake of the gods. Easily. Ah. Ah. <laughs> we need to get you to Professor Hughes. Move! Move! <laughs> 